Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Garden with Bell Brown. Thanks for coming to my garden channel today where I'm here helping you grow something tasty. All right, in today's video, I know you can hear it's uh, raining outside. I had a subscriber that wanted to uh, know how my uh, diverter works for my rainwater system. So I'm in here now. I had to empty some water out because all my barrels are filled up to, to show what it looks like. So here we go, we're gonna go right into it so I can get back inside before it started getting real bad because I think the uh, it was thundering and lightning, so I don't wanna get hit. All right, so hold on for a second. I'm trying not to let my camera get wet. All right, here is my divider, and I don't know, oh, let me hurry up. I don't know what the uh, name of this divider is because I had it for several years, but they said it, it didn't work real good, but it works fine for me. I'm gonna take the cap off. All right, so once it uh, rains, the uh, the gutter, I had to cut my gutter so I can fit the uh, divider, the uh, diverter in. When it rains through here, it's going to uh, trap the water in. And it's a little, uh, it's like a little triangle shape that lets the water seeps in. And if you look down, you still will see a little bit of water going down to the bottom of the gutter. But this diverter is, uh, letting all the water go in from this uh tube right here and if you can see it is going to a spill in when it rains harder then uh, of course a lot more water is going to come in so all you have to do is make sure that you uh, drill the hole and all the attachments comes in this is the uh, screw lock so that when you uh put the uh tube in from the divider it will uh, go ahead and lock it tight so that the cable won't come loose. All right, but you can pull it out. And like I said, all the water, once it hits that little latch, is going out the side of this tube. And then all it does is divert it into your uh, water jugs, your water systems, water barrels, and all the water is trapped inside of your, your uh, gallon drums. And these are 55 gallon drums. I have six of these and I have the uh, manifold that's at the bottom. And so when all the water gets here, it's going to fill up and then I got holes at the bottom which you can't see and it's connected so all the barrels will fill up from this first main barrel from the uh, diverter. And they will fill up at the same level. That's the way I chose to do it. And once the uh, all six barrels are filled up, like I said, I had to drain some water out. When all six barrels are filled up, then all the water pressure will come back through uh, this little uh, channel and it comes back here and all the water will go back down through my uh, gutter all the way out to the uh, ground. So that's the way I made it. I didn't have a uh, another hole on the uh, on the side gutters, some people have an overflow drain. After it gets filled up, it goes back to my diverter and then on down to the, uh, the ground from my uh, extended uh, gutter at the bottom. And all you have to do is just, I'm not gonna pull it out, but when you uh, get ready to put this in, you wanna make sure that this end is uh, capped. They send you everything that you need because you, you don't want the water coming out here. You want the water to go all the way through that side hole. That's why you have the little screen right here. And the screen blocks all a lot of the uh, material from going through like this. You will have some that will go into your uh, barrel, but that's all you need to know is make sure that that end cap is on so the water won't leak here. And then once the uh, water goes in, it's going to shoot it through this little, your uh, little pipe. And they give you a long, a long tubing. So I had to cut it to fit the needs of uh, my barrel because mine wasn't that far away. But you just want to make sure that when uh, you cut into your gutter, you want to make sure that this hole is a lot, well, a little bit taller than the uh, hole that you're trying to uh put in your barrel so this is a little further up so that it can flow down into your uh, first barrel so just make sure that don't put them at the same level this is higher up so it slides down into 
the hole for where you're gonna fill up your uh, barrels. And that's basically how this uh, diverter works. Like I said, I did uh, some research and they said that this wasn't a good one, all the reviews, but I believe the only issue is you gotta make sure that you get that uh, triangle shape in so that it uh, feeds the water into the hole. So once you uh, do that, I have been using this for at least eight, eight years now, it could be even longer than that. So that was the only concern when I first put it in, it didn't uh, trap water. You got to make sure that that little triangle goes right over the little groove so that it can move the water into your barrel. And that's how you use this uh, system right here with the diverter. All right, I'll talk to you later. Let me get out so I don't get hit by lightning. Hi, right, bye.